everyone. This is Realtor Linda Peltz. Today I'm here with Bobby and he's going to tell us the importance of pest inspections. Well, hello everybody. My name is Bobby Gutierrez. I am the CEO of Rid X Pest Control. Been in business uh, 18 years now and we have currently five um, termite inspectors. So we definitely can handle the workload. I know this uh, day and time that we're living in, it's hard to get inspectors and reports and repairs and get <laughs> yeah <laughs> to get things to get things done so we can close escrow so that real estate agents can get paid and then the termite company can get paid so um i think the edge a little bit of the edge that we have in the industry is we have five inspectors plus a termite crew plus a contractor so um we really hit the market hard the last few months getting out there and doing these inspections and repairs and reports um, I'm not the only one doing the inspections. I, again, we have four other inspectors, so we're able to handle the workload and uh, you guys know how important it is to, to get your reports in a timely manner. And that's what we're here to do. Oh, in this market, it is crazy out there, right? At the moment, I, these poor buyers, I feel for them. It's such a seller's market that you right. know, time, timing is important right now. I mean, timing and, and there's other factors that go into making an offer, but man, you get your offer accepted, you better go above and beyond. Yeah. And, and it's getting hard on you inspectors and appraisers right. and, and all the different agencies that's involved you know, time-wise, because it's like, we are on a time schedule, people. We are right. on a time. Right. Of course, that's our job as the realtor to be cracking whips. <laughs> <laughs> maybe kind of tell them uh, what happens at a pest inspection. Maybe they, um, and a lot of our viewers are maybe first-time home buyers and maybe aren't quite sure where you fit in sure. to the system. No problem, not at all. So what we do is uh, we'll do an exterior inspection, make sure obviously that there's no visible termite evidence or termite activity. Uh, during that exterior inspection, we are you know, checking the fascia boards uh, for dry rot, for fungus, um, all the conducive conditions uh, that are related for homes having uh, termite problems or that can have termite problems in the future. Uh, then if there's a crawl space, you know, we will go into the crawl space and uh, check all the piers and posts, check the stem wall, make sure there's no uh, termite evidence, termite activity, make sure there's no leaks in the plumbing. I did a, actually did an inspection yesterday. Um, it was a pretty tight inspection and uh, I had to wiggle my way through a certain area and then uh, glad I did because we found some plumbing issues that the homeowner was not aware of. So we're very <laughs> thorough on our, very thorough on our inspections. They call that section one and section two. So that is correct. Cover, which is the water and then the termite. Yes. Yeah, so, so section you one. I overlap the home inspection a little bit in the, in, in the water area. <laughs> Ab absolutely. A lot of times uh, the home inspector and us will see a lot of the same things. And so the section one, if, for those that aren't familiar with section one or section two items, section one item is either a active infestation of uh, termites or dry rot fungus or fungus dry rot. Section two are conducive conditions that can lead to termite problems, uh, which would be, you know, moisture in the sub area. Uh, maybe uh, the rain gutter is, is uh, not sealed properly and it's leaking onto the facial board, stuff like that. Um, real common thing that we see during our inspections is metal flashing, where a wood fence will butt up against the house and there's no metal flashing. So that would be a section two item because that can lead um, to termite problems, which is a conducive condition. Um, so section one items are items that would need to get taken care of before um, the property is sold. Uh, section two items um, is an option. You can take care of it before it's sold or you can take care of it after the, the new homeowner uh, is in the home. And my recommendation, and I try to explain it this way, it's called earth to wood contact. So Correct. basically no, no earth can contact the home. But they don't uh, uh, a lot of times correlate that wood post going up out of the dirt, right? Leaning up against the home that's touching the home. So that's called earth to wood. So uh, a lot of times, even at my listing appointments, I'll point some of that stuff out and say that's called earth to wood. That's one yes. of those things we should probably get taken care of. <laughs> Absolutely. I think when they're doing some of their repairs and upgrades, they don't quite, quite correlate that. That's a no no. <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't, yeah, they don't they don't connect the dots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it was great having you on, Bobby. Is there anything Thank else you. you'd like to share? And we'll kind of wrap wrap it up a little bit. 
feel free to give us a call. We do have three full-time girls in our office that can take the phone call, or you can message me directly, um, either uh, on Instagram, Facebook, or our website, and we'll, we'll get out to you and, and schedule that inspection for you guys. Perfect. Thank you so much. It was lovely having you today. And Thank you. See you around. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.